mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. I don't know if I'm going to be doing too many videos today. I'm literally here in Palm Springs. I am in the pool, literally just um, relaxing. I don't know if you have ever been in Palm Springs before, but like the ambience here, it's just beautiful. Like you come here. You are on the table, you get some drinks, you just relax, eat food, and just have an amazing time, right? Literally just for one night. Um, girl, so I, we have to talk about the Real Housewives of New Jersey, okay? Because Jennifer Aiding is basically giving us some insight of what went down um, at the reunion, okay? Uh, and we need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to get the very troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30K. So if you want to join the family where I give you the tea, no matter where I am, no matter what part of the world, no matter like if I'm on vacation or not, girl, you know what to do. And let's talk about this mess. Oh my god, my tongue is jello. I, I'm drinking like this jello uh, drink. Anyways, so uh, apparently, as we have been hearing, you know, apparently the reunion was insane. I mean, I'm talking like crazy insane, like screaming insane. And apparently, according to Jennifer Aiding, at some point, Andy Cohen have to scream at them several times and basically tell them to let other people speak to shut the fuck up to you know let some people defend themselves because they were all going at each other okay i know a lot of you are already thinking like oh well, I, that's teresa just screaming like crazy well no apparently it was not only teresa according to jennifer at some point every single one of them were screaming at each other okay uh she confirmed that uh, teresa who she supposedly couldn't scream because she got literally an append appendectomy like a week before mm -mm. she definitely didn't didn't follow like doctor's orders and she just screamed the way i come on she's gonna have to confront margaret about all the bullshit that went down and you think that she's gonna stay quiet of course she's not gonna stay quiet she's you know how Teresa is, you know, and Jennifer is saying that it was bad. It was bad. Like, um, we're going to be seeing uh, the guys fighting. We're going to be seeing, seeing uh, Melissa versus Teresa, Dolores versus Teresa, Dolores versus Margaret, Jackie versus Teresa, Jackie versus Jennifer, Jennifer versus everyone. Girl, this is going to be, honestly, like insane like it's going to be insanely crazy um this is turning to be a really good season okay and again i know that a lot of you are having different opinions and that's the whole point you know um but come on if we didn't have teresa like we wouldn't have all this drama going around okay and that's literally the reality show okay like that last episode um it was so we can see now that i think that the relationship between margaret and Teresa is just done completely over like there is not gonna be coming back from there um i feel like people are finally telling margaret like why you have that need to keep asking those questions that it is very obvious that teresa doesn't want to talk about okay 
and like i said before she's trying to hide this and like as like oh i'm so worried about teresa like oh my god like like we need to talk about this but like if teresa is making it very clear that she is trusting Louis, that she doesn't want to talk about this, that she doesn't want to put it in front of the cameras because she knows that now the whole world is going to have an opinion about it, then why does she has the need to keep putting that information out there over and over and over? Like, it really doesn't make any sense. So, you know, this is coming at the end of the day because of the fight that they do have between the two of them and this is not going to be the end about um from that view it's just what is going to happen we're just gonna have to keep watching this over and over and over until one of them it's uh ready to basically you know uh how you say that not quit but like surrender you know until one of them is actually gonna have to surrender and I don't see any of them because now it's, we are reaching a point that it's all about like what people are going to say, you know, like Teresa will never give Margaret the, um, how you say that? Like the, shit, Latino moment, guys, the pleasure. She's never going to give Margaret the pleasure to say that she was right. Now, my thing, because I know a lot of you think that I am 100% on Team Teresa and that I hate Margaret. And that's not quite the thing. Because I do think that Louis is a walking red flag. You know, I have been telling you these guys a lot of times before. I do think that there is a lot of things about Louis that it doesn't really check out. And that, you know, we should be worried um, until we see otherwise. You know, yes, we are... We... we are kind of like giving him an opportunity to show everyone that his past is his past as an, and that he is not that person anymore, you know. But it's still, there is a lot of red flags that uh, we need to uh, be careful. So it's not like I don't understand what Margaret is trying to do. The difference, the difference is that Margaret is literally trying to do that just to take down Teresa. Is not out of concern. Is not because she's worried about Teresa of the kids. It's just because she wants to take down Teresa. She wants her out of the show because she wants to be the queen of New Jersey. And that's a completely different thing. Okay? So, um, that's why I cannot be on Team Margaret. I, I, I agree with questioning and I agree with, you know, things being weird with Louis. But I don't agree with Margaret at all because she's not doing it out of love. She is literally just doing it out of hate. And that's my thing. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think uh, that the reunion is going to be as dramatic as uh, Jennifer is making it seem? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.